a firm message from the Department of Homeland Security and the Secretary, Kirsten Nielsen. The crisis at our southern border getting a lot worse. She's ordered more agents, 750 to be precise, to head down to the southern border amid the latest migrant surge. All right, Kevin Cork is all over this. Uh, it's the ongoing crisis. The, the only thing we're guaranteed of, Kevin, is every day we don't act, things get more, uh, more dire. No question. And listen, the message, guys, is simple coming from the White House. If Mexico won't do more to stem the tide, we're talking about tens of thousands of people in the U.S. for a time period. We'll shut down the border until both sides can figure out the best way forward, because this is without question a major emergency. Let me share part of a statement from Kirsten Nielsen, the Homeland Security Secretary. Uh, we mentioned earlier in the uh, show that she is obviously doing all she can to try to figure this out to help America maintain its sovereignty. She says this, we will urgently pursue additional reinforcements from within DHS and the interagency. She goes on to say this, and we will require those seeking to enter the United States to wait in Mexico until an immigration court has reviewed their claims. And as you know, that could end up being years. It is a monumental undertaking by any estimation. What to do with the thousands that continue to come here and claim asylum? Where do you put them? Who pays for that? Who pays for their housing, their food, etc.? And where do they go for the years until their cases can be heard? Well, to hear Democrats tell it, Punishing Northern Triangle countries for not doing more to stem the massive migration is just poor policy. The idea that you would close the border or that you would cut off aid to these very countries where people are fleeing and coming to the United States is downright stupid. It's the wrong thing to do. If you close off the border, you're just going to hurt jobs in the United States. That is certainly one perspective, but the White House perspective is, listen, if Democrats really want to solve this problem, they need to come to the table, work on immigration reform so you don't end up with hundreds of thousands of people each and every year gaming the system to get into our country. Uh, we will uh, probably see the president right around 2 o'clock this afternoon when he meets the uh, NATO Secretary General. Jan Stoltenberg will be here at the White House. Of course, I'll be here for you. In the meantime, back to you. You've right. got a busy day. All right. Yes, Wait a second. I thought the president didn't like NATO. Why, why is he at the White House? Wait a second. I thought he it was blowing up well, NATO. I thought that was what Eric Swalwell said. I, Fake news, Brian. Yeah. There there you go. Uh, it does sound as if the uh, president is trying to get a handle and to show his base that uh, he's he's doing everything he can, despite the fact that Congress will not give him the money to build the wall in its entirety. And he's thinking about uh, some sort of an immigration or border czar. One of the big questions is whether or not it would be uh, a job that would report to the Secretary of Homeland Security, which would then require Senate confirmation, which is always complicated these days regarding this topic, or in the White House, mm -hmm. which does not. So if they pick one and it's still speculative at this point, probably going to be housed at the White House. Uh, I just think Homeland Security is just too big a department. It was a good idea when Joe Lieberman proposed it and George Bush okayed it, but it's so big and unwieldy, I think it makes sense where Barack Obama made a lot of news by saying, I have my cabinet secretaries, but I have my czars. I think this is one time in which a czar would be really effective because Tierson Nielsen is not even fully staffed at the highest level. This would provide a relief, and some should be able to focus on so many other things. Yeah, well, everyone keeps saying all of the border agents that we've interviewed. We need more manpower. We need more help. We don't have enough people here to apprehend these individuals that are breaking the law. Kristen Nielsen, that's why she's listening to them. Yeah. She's saying, all right, uh, Congress is not going to do anything. They're not going to wake up. I'll have to send 750 new agents down there. She's accelerating this timeline by reallocating right. these, these agents. Right. And if they did have a board of czar, it would coordinate the various federal agencies. Because when you look at it, uh, you've got the Department of Justice manages the courts and immigration and things like that. Uh, Department of Homeland Security manages the care of uh, any of the migrants at our southern border. And then it's the Pentagon and the Army Corps of Engineers, which is involved in actual construction. So uh, a czar, a border person, there just underneath the cabinet level would be able to coordinate all those federal agencies as well. I think people at home just say, fix the problem. We don't care how you do yep. it. If you have to get a czar, if you don't want a czar, whatever it takes, just fix the problem. Because you look at these images and it looks like a crisis. A czar is born. Uh, I just would love to see a Democrat or Republican come to the microphone and say, I see it as a problem. The, the, re the, the third rail for Democrats has been the wall. That is in a different section now. This is asylum rules and, uh, and an uncontro unsustainable situation at the border that we have not seen in our lifetime. 
please run to the uh, run to the microphone and run to uh, write some legislation on this. And meanwhile, the president's doing two things: cutting off aid to these three countries that don't seem to be helping. He's rep he's urging Mexico to do something on their southern border, and he's also threatening to shut down the border. Word is there's 27 ports of entry. It wouldn't it be that hard? But I think there would be a lot of people uh, in the line of fire that would get hurt by that. But the president just showing I'm not willing to sit on my hands. Well, it, the stock market would crater for a Instead of building a wall or closing the border or cutting off aid to these Central American countries, which is downright stupid, we should actually go in the other direction. Um, we should choose compassion instead of cruelty. I think this is the third time he threatens to shut down the border. He says that's not the way to get cooperation with us. No. The idea that any president of the United States would ever, should, should, would ever suggest that we should shut down our ports of entry uh, is uh, just moronic. Democrats coming out in full force against the president's plan to potentially close the border. Meantime, hundreds of agents will head there to assist with the surge of illegal immigrants streaming into our country. Art Del Cuarto is vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. Art, you just heard some, from some Democrats critical of the president's move here. Um, and as he continues to threaten shutting down the border altogether, you heard one Democrat say that was moronic, another saying this is downright stupid. Let's look for compassion versus cruelty. Your response? I, I haven't seen any of them down here working with us. I haven't seen any of, them, any of them down here, you know, asking to speak to any of us. I have an open invitation. They can come down and I'll show them the issues of, of what's happening down and at the border right see, now. what will they see, What will they see? getting over... Well, <clears throat> we are getting overrun. Our, facili our facilities are over capacity. Uh, we have agents that have been removed from certain areas that are patrolling the border and defending our, our nation's border so they can uh, do some babysitting duties and take care of these individuals that are coming through. Uh, we are definitely uh, at a crisis, and it's an emergency. Uh, you know, we welcome more agents coming down here to the southern border and assisting, but in the end, you know, something needs to be done about the, uh, the overflow of these individuals that are coming into the country. And if there's other countries that are facilitating this invasion, uh, they obviously need to step up to the plate and, and start doing something about it. Still, you hear Democrats continue to, to slam the president's plan. Um, he's threatening to close down the border. Would this be a good move, a good strategy on the part of the Trump administration? Well, so we support whatever the president's able to do. And at this point, when you have a country that's facilitating these individuals to come through, what else do you have as an option? I mean, they need to step up at the plate. And you can have a bunch of individuals saying it's the wrong thing to do, it's the wrong thing to do, or saying it's moronic and, and you know, using their verbiage to, to slam the president, but in the end, they're not down here. They haven't even bothered to come and speak to the agents and the boots on the ground and ask what is it that we need? What is it that they, that they need out there? Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's an extreme measure, but uh, right now, because of what we're seeing and the emergency and the overrunning in our facilities and, you know, the agents being removed from certain law enforcement positions so they can, you know, do processing and take care of these overstaffed uh, and over overcrowded cells. Uh, you know, that, that seems to be one of the best options right now. Or, you know, give some type of authority to these agents so they can act as asylum officers themselves mm. and return some of these individuals. Uh, but we need FEMA down here. I want, mean, to this, want to get this finally we're, we're in order to get overrun. you to respond. We're a little bit short on time. But this is Mark Morgan. He's the former Border Patrol chief under President Obama on the crisis that we're seeing at the border. They are not fleeing persecution or violence, and the stats show that by the amount of asylum claims that are actually found to be not valid. And it, you're absolutely right. The incentives to come here are overwhelming, and they're willing to take this dangerous trek because they know, grab a kid, set one foot in, in, um, on American soil, and you're allowed into the United States, really, to, to, be, to remain here unchecked. But still, you do hear from some Democrats that this is a manufactured crisis at the border. Final thoughts, Art. You know, when you have individuals that, you know, were here before, they could have made a difference before, and now they themselves are noticing that there is a crisis. That honestly ought to open some people's eyes. All right, Art Dacueto, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Art. Patriots.